My school life ended around almost more than one year ago, fun enough. And I studied in this Indian school, uh, Indian school which was in Kathmandu, but CBSC board. So our school had like both Nepali and Indian students there. It was like this mixed population. So someone coming up to you there and asking you, hi, are you Indian or Nepali was a very common question. It was like one of a very frequently asked question there. In my case, what I experienced was not all the time, but um, a lot of times people used to come up to me. We used to introduce ourselves. I used to tell them my full name, it's Aditi Cha. So they used to listen to my name, analyze me, and then they, they used to go like, so you are probably Indian. And I used to say, no, I'm not, I'm Nepali Nai. And that was it, then the conversation used to move forward from there. Uh, my point here in this whole thing was, I studied in that school for around eight to nine years, and for like, which is a long, period of time in someone's life. And for that long time in my life, I was mistook as an Indian quite a few times. There is a Dinevanam. So, but that never really bothered me. I was never really offended. I was never upset about it. I never gave it much thought to let it affect me in any way. Until two years ago, when someone mistook me as Indian. And for the very first time in my life, I was upset. So two years ago, it was the time of COVID. I did not have much to do with life. So I used to spend most of my time on social media. I was going through this social media validation phase. So I used to comment in, on a lot of meme posts and then interact with a lot of strangers. And I was just very active in social media in those days. So on one such day, I replied to one of the meme page co posts. And someone replied to it. And I got very excited when I saw the notification popping up. I was like, oh, who replied? So I went to check the reply to my comment. And the reply said, and I quote, And I was shocked. I was very surprised that why would this person say this? Because my comment had nothing to do with any race, nothing to do with any country. It had nothing to do with anything in general. It was just a very harmless comment. So why would this person say this? And I analyzed my comment for a few minutes and I realized that, oh, it's not the comment. It's my username. Because my username had my full name there. So that kind of gave him the pass to say that. And in that moment, I thought, Ki, because it kind of gives you the free pass to say such things on internet. And I really did not like being a Modise. I did not like being a Modise person ever since I first moved to Kathmandu, ever since I was around five years old. So when I first came to Kathmandu, about, I don't know how many of you have idea about this, but uh, we don't normally communicate in Nepali. We talk in Maithili, we talk in Bhojpuri. We also talk in Hindi because we are close to the border, but Nepali is not really our first language. So of course, when I first came to Kathmandu, there were certain Nepali words that I could not pronounce. There were certain Nepali words which I could not understand. And of course, the accent was also normal. So when I used to go to my school and I used to talk to my friends, and words my friends used to exchange looks and they used to smile. And the kind of smile that made me feel like La, what did I say? Like, did I do something wrong? Are they making fun of me? When I used to go out with my friends to have fun, there used to always be this funny guy in the group who used to point out at Totpati Bechirakodai and be like, Oh, this is a relative. Family business. And the whole group used to burst out in laughter because apparently that was a very funny joke. So, Seeing all these things from a very small age of my life, I, it was inside my head that 
Motesi bani kota yani ri derogate ri tom po utoraisa. Like it's not something, it's not a word you use to describe a community of people or a group of people, but something you use in, as an insult to degrade someone. And I decided then and there that Malaita yo unu thaina. Like I don't want to be associated with this word only. So what I did was I went to my house. I went to my house and I begged my guardians, everyone in my family, that I am please. Like let's talk in Nepali when we are outside. Malta bairo uda moisli bolna kosto lads lagsa vanera. When um, I used to go out and people used to ask me, Nani timi kaa baata ho? I used to say, Chabil baata. And they were like, Hoi no kaa baata ho? Like, God kaa ho timro? And I was like, Ma Chabil baata ho? I don't know what you're talking about. So, moi li say, this one part of my life, nai, I tried to cover it. I tried to run away from this. Right? And I think I was pretty successful at this thing. Because when I used to go back to my hometown, there were people who used to come to me and they were like, Timi ta, ami zosto bolda ni bolda no, ami zosto dehi da ni dehi de no, karhandu ma bose ra pahadi zosto dehi sa hota, pahadi zosto bai sa hota, and one nun dege. And I used to feel so happy when they used to say that. Because mero lagi in my head, pahadi zosto dehi no, pahadi zosto bol no, bani ko compliment hi okay. Because modesi was something no ramro, it was a very negative thing for me. So of course, when you try to run away from something your entire life, and then this random anonymous guy on internet points it out just by looking at your username, it makes you upset. And I decided, ki like, boy, no, Aditi, like, you need to do something about it. So I decided, ki, I'll remove my surname from my username. I'll just keep Aditi there. Then no one will say this one here. But before I did that, I decided, ki, let's, let's see who this person is. I just, curiosity, ki, kura is hata yuman se vanabai game. So I clicked on his profile and thankfully public account right? So, so I went to his account and he had posted a story and I was curious, so I thought, let's see what the story is. So I clicked on his story and brace yourself because his, his story really surprised me. So what his story had was Black Lives Matter. We sta I stand for black people facing discrimination in America. And I thought, wow. What is this? This guy just asked me to leave my country because I belong to the majority black skinned people of this nation. And he stands with black people facing discrimination in America. And I was like, my yo man sikolai afnu username change gorna goi lagothe. And upon giving this more thinking, I was like, wait a second. It's not just this one guy though. It's literally everyone around me. So Tiobila say, ki ba kothe wani this George Floyd case took place, right? And everyone on internet was posting about how black lives matter and how racism is bad. So naturally all my friends and everyone that I knew they were also posting about like we stand for black people, like racism is bad, you shouldn't you shouldn't be racist and blah 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 blah, which is amazing, which is wonderful. You should be against racism. But Aren't you guys the same people who looks like who looks at a Modise person but a man goes like the Modise How are you guys against racism? And I had this realization one at that point here. Is it really worth running away from my reality for people who are so fake, who don't have ideologies of their own? who don't know what's wrong and what's right and who just become a part of a movement to be a part of the crowd? Is it really, really worth it to hide my reality from people who are such hypocrites? Because what is it if not hypocrisy? And I decided that no, it's, it's not worth it. So I did not change my username that day. Instead, I went to my friends, I went to the people that I knew, and I questioned, the, I questioned them like, listen, I know you're being like very anti-racist right now, but haven't you been racist to my kind and my community your entire life? And to which they replied, he, oh my God, we are so sorry, Aditi. We didn't realize that we were being like this though. We didn't mean to hate on you guys. We didn't realize that we were being racist. And the funny thing is, I believe them. I genuinely believe people here when they say like they weren't trying to be racist towards our kind. And the reason I believe them is because I have this cousin sister who is like around 10 years old. And uh, she came to me one day and she said, Ki, 
Didi, my sister, you da bani ko ki bato magoy ra khilu unda re, because her mother said ki bato magoy ra khilu bani, mati sili uthai ra lock tha. Dos porsa ko ki tu bhatsa. Like in ten years age, it's already planted inside her head ki mati si aru da bani ke chhor man si aru. So when people here tell me that we weren't trying to be racist, we didn't mean to say all those things, I believe them. Because Kalu, Doti, La, Ko, Mansilai, Bato, Maero, Unyar, Ko, Mukhbata, Cha, Madi, Se, Niskinu, or the disgust, Ko, feeling, Bitter, Anu, is not something people here try to do. It's something that comes out very naturally. Reflex, Ta, Sar, Niskin, Sa, Ke, Mansilai, Ko, Yam, which is why I don't know how long it's going to take for this thing to get better. I don't know ki ya ko manche orle Assam ma baako Sikkim ma baako Dhaka topi launi Nepali bolni Indians orle jati jar acceptance sin son teti acceptance Janakpur Biratnagar ma bhayera doti launi maithili bolni Nepali orle dino kati time lagsa I don't even know if people are going to acknowledge the fact that this is an actual problem in our society but what I do know as I stand here today in front of so many people is that I hamra itta thar bhaka maithi me baat kare me laaj nahi lagaya. What I do, what I do know is today I am not ashamed of speaking my language and I'm not ashamed of the person I am or the place that I come from. That's all I know. That's all that honestly matters to me. Thank you.